guys, Marley here and welcome back to another speed build, this time with a face cam because I actually did my makeup and hair today. Um, today we are doing a speed build of the English Simmers Shell Challenge. She's calling it the English Sheller Challenge. I think that that is adorable. Sorry if I'm looking at this direction. My dog is currently doing something really weird in the corner and I'm going to try my best to ignore it, but she's so cute. I just have to look sometimes. But anyway, we are doing the English Summer Shell Challenge. She is doing a special challenge for Pride Month and the challenge is to create LGBTQ plus safe spaces. Um, so if you wanna be involved with that, look her up on YouTube. I'm sure everyone who's watching this video knows who she is because she's amazing. Um, look her up on Twitter, find the challenge. You can do it yourself. And I created a theater, an LGBTQ theater um, and not like a movie theater, but like a theater where people perform. I did this decision for a couple of reasons, orange juice time. The first one is because um, I am a theater person and I know that the theater and performing spaces are a safe space for a lot of people. And especially if it was a performance space dedicated to whoever you are, um, wherever you need a safe space to be. So that's one of the reasons. But the second reason is just because when I saw her show on her video, I immediately saw the section that was two stories like that and I immediately was like that looks like a theater like that looks like a theater house how one hot side is higher than the rest and then there's like this little cutoff and so I was like that rectangle is going to be a theater um and then I kind of immediately knew what I wanted to do sorry if you see me looking down I have the video right here so I'm just glancing at the footage so that I can talk about it but um I immediately knew what I wanted to do then and when I opened it, I'm going to admit that it was not as easy as I thought it would be. It was actually very difficult. Um, she said that the shell was really big, but once you open it up, it is not that large. I think that the theater has a house of like 22 seats, maybe. Like, it's a tiny theater. Um, and I wrote a really cute bio for it on Origin. I made up an entire backstory. So if you are interested in downloading this lot and reading my backstory and my little, like, um, like history of this fictional theater that I made up. You can find that at my origin ID at marlynicole123 on the gallery. You can also find me on Twitter at MarlsWorldYT um, and pretty much all the socials, Discord. You can find me on Twitch. I did one live stream. No one showed up. My best friend. Still a great time and I would love to do it in the future but I have my OBS set up to recording settings right now and it took me a really long time to find settings that would let me record without lag. So I'm a little bit worried that if I try to stream again, I'm gonna mess up my settings again. But you know, if that's something that you're interested in, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you because I think a stream would be awesome. If I did a stream, you guys would see what my personality is really like because I swear I don't talk this much all of the time. But I know when I watch speed builds, I really don't like when people sit silent for too long. It makes me feel kind of awkward. So I try to continuously talk and keep it going. Um, what I'm doing right now is making a custom sign. This isn't actually how the sign ends up staying. I named this theater the Soho Rep Theater. Basically, I just Googled theaters in NYC, um, LGBTQ theaters in NYC, and I was going to steal a name. One theater I found doesn't look to be exclusively LGBT, but they seem to do a lot of LGBTQ productions for many seasons, is called the Soho Rep Theater, um, obviously in Soho, I'm assuming, which is south of Houston Street, if you're wondering. Fun fact, I'm from Texas, and in Texas we have a place called Houston that's spelled the exact same way. So when I came here, um, they have a street called Houston Street that's spelled the same way as Houston, and so I referred to it as Houston and got majorly roasted by all the real northerners. But it is what it is. Um, so I'm creating a custom sign. I really wanted, part of my original vision was to have that sign like go like across the diagonal bit and then across the front. I think that it looks really cool. And I also picked this name because it has the exact number of letters to do all the colors of the rainbow. So I did like them all different colors and I thought that was really fun for like a pride theater. Um, but this took a long time and I left it all in because I saw someone else do this once. I think it was Hatsy did this in her Tiana's Palace restaurant build way back when, like years ago. And I was really, really interested in what she did and I thought it was beautiful. So I decided to leave it in because I put a lot of effort into it. So it felt right to me to just like leave it here so people could see it. Um, right now I am getting to the final version. That first one you saw actually looked better in my opinion. The letters were a lot straighter, but it wasn't really fitting in where I wanted it to. So I did it again and the second one didn't look as good. 
And I'm very proud of how nice these letters look because when I tell you that my handwriting is awful, it's almost illegible. Like I had to sometimes in school like type things because my teachers just couldn't read my handwriting. So I'm very proud of how this looks. It's weird to me that I can make the letters look straighter with letters and with lights in the Sims than I can when I'm writing. If you know what that is, let me know in the comments down below. Sorry, orange juice break. It doesn't bother anyone. Um, but I know that like, so I've been thinking a lot about my content and making it the best I can be. And I know that when, oh, there's a dog. Hi, Athena. You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? Oh, dog break. Anyway, I know that when I see other like YouTubers and streamers like have water or do whatever, as long as they're not really close to whatever microphone they're using. And I'm using the microphone on my iPhone, so you can't really hear it anyway. Um, I actually, I thought about getting a professional mic, but I did a lot of, I did some, um, some voiceover classes at acting school at AMDA. Don't hate on AMDA in the comments. I will be very upset because AMDA gets a lot of hate online and it's a great school and I will defend it to the grave. So actually, if you do have any questions about AMDA, ask me down below. But at AMDA, we did some voiceover classes and some like, is my camera tilted? We did some voiceover classes and some like, um like voice recording stuff. And the lady that we had is a professional voice actress. She's done audiobooks, she's done cartoons, like all the whole, the whole shebang. And she was telling us how iPhone quality is so good now that like there are people who get away with doing professional work on their iPhones. And so I'm like, if that's the truth, then I'm not going to buy something uh, so soon when I don't have the money. I'm spending all my money on pack giveaways, y'all. Oh my gosh, Athena, do you have to be so disrespectful? Guys, I can't believe, why is she doing this? She literally never wants to sit with me like this. And then as soon as I start recording and I start talking, she walks over and sits right on my face. What are you doing? What are you doing? And on the video, um, I'm actually, ooh, if, if you saw that I just built, I just did a little um, box office window and I was so proud of that. I thought it was so cute and it ends up not fitting there because I move things around a little bit but I move it and make another one on that like diagonal wall of the building. And I think that it actually looks really good in the end. And that's one of the things that I'm really proud of. I try to take inspiration from Geekism, if you know that channel. He doesn't do The Sims, he does like Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo, but he really uses objects to make other objects, if that makes sense. So like he wants to make a water fountain, so he uses like a rectangle and then like a little like soda machine and then like it sticks out the top it looks like a water fountain um and i try to do that with my sims build because i think that like adding that like level of realism and like building things that aren't there it can be really fun sometimes guys i'm so sorry about this she's so distracting athena what are you doing i'm trying to record a video girl okay i think she's gone um i, I don't know i just find it really nice I find it really cool when you can do things like that. I also did, as you can see now, a lot of set dressing for this build. And what I mean by set dressing is just like decorating the lot. I also literally built a set in the back, like a fake street. I push this like this. A fake street and a fake building um, to match with the facades from Get Famous, just because I felt like it was the lot was huge and it was a little bit bland the way it was. So, I wanted to build like a little fake building back there to make it look like it actually fit on a street because I feel like this theater, I put it in the art district of San Myshuno, but to be honest, all of Shan My San Myshuno is way too nice. Um, like living in New York, most of the neighborhoods don't look like that. The buildings, like they all kind of look like the Spice District buildings. Also check this out, I just found. They all kind of look like the Spice District buildings. So I put um, some of those look some of those types of buildings in the back to kind of make it look like looks look like it fits in a little bit more because I don't see this being in a really like a high-rise area this theater wouldn't really fit in there and it wouldn't be whole like this if it was in like a high-rise it would be like this but you'd only see the facade and then nothing on top of it but even the theaters even the theaters on Broadway aren't in high rises like you see the roof like they're like three stories yeah so no it wouldn't be in, it wouldn't be in a high rise like this one is it would be um stop Athena it would be by itself so I just put some like fake buildings around it to make it look like it fit into the world a little bit better I built those like planter boxes very simple but it's just like a little green space each little box gets one tree two bushes um and I thought that that was nice because it's really realistic you pass on the streets here like a lot of um 
little like tiny squares of grass that have like one matching tree for like three blocks and then on the next three blocks it has like uh, the same bush or like a, just a patch of dirt or something but they kind of like match along the way like so if one has one thing they all have like the one thing for like a certain area oh and here i'm rebuilding more of those little like ticket booths i think that that looks so cute those little windows are really perfect for it and then i used the trophies from get famous to make it look like a little like hole that you could speak through and i'm really proud of that this kind of looks like a movie theater a little bit but on the inside definitely not a movie theater it's also a little bit bland on the inside like i doubt that she picks mine to be the like whatever um like the winner or anything because it's not that um like deep like it looks realistic but there's not a lot of i don't know how to say this it's not very crowded it's not very cramped it, it looks like a real public lot looks in my opinion so I don't think that it'll win. I think that usually the things that win these like um, shell challenges are the ones that like really, really transform it and like do something really like crazy and weird with like tons of debug and like live edit objects everywhere and stuff. And that's not really my build style, but I'm still super proud of this build. And I've been working on a save file with my Sims and my builds, and this is definitely going somewhere in it. But I don't think that it will end up going in San Myshuno. Either way, I think it's really great. Um, I would like to build a big theater for San Myshuno. I know they're not usable, but just to like have it so you could have your Sims play in it. Or if you wanted to do a story where your Sim like worked in a theater, you could always do like the acting career and then send them to work and then have them go to the theater at night, I guess. I don't know. Have them learn a skill, turn it into a lounge, which is what this lot is. And then they can go like perform on the stage. And I think if you buy those little... Um, the X's from Get Famous, you can probably make them do scenes somehow. I'm not sure, but I would look into it because I think it's probably possible. Another thing that I've really been wanting to get into is modding, and I've tried. So I, um, I have this idea for like, I feel like people aren't taking advantage of The Sims in a way that it could be taking advantage of in like a Minecraft, like Gary's Mod kind of way where you could make like games within the games. Like we kind of do that with challenges, but I'm trying to come up with a way to like merge a challenge into a mod. So like take what I would make into a challenge and then mod the whole thing. So the challenge is in game. And like, once you put it on that save file, that save file is this new like thing you can do. And I have successfully created one custom aspiration. So if you're wondering, it's going great. Um, but I would love to talk to someone who is like really, really good at mods and could tell me like, how do you make custom notifications happen? Like, how do you make custom pop-ups? Like, we're gonna cut that somewhere. I don't know what I was talking about, but modding, uh, Zebra is amazing. I've been using the Zebra mod constructor to make, to try to make this like mod game thing that I wanna do. Kind of like the way like, have you guys ever, have you ever played like an adventure map in Minecraft, like back in the day, like an ant farm survival or like a, um, a zoo, Azuri whatever that one was that's what I want to do in the sims and I think it's possible like you'd have to make the custom builds and put them on the gallery and then make like the custom like aspirations like notifications and stuff and then you could do it all together and like do like these like challenges kind of like strangerville style but like like a uh, community created I really want to do that I've been working on it it's harder than it sounds I, I learned it took me like seven hours to figure out how to make the one aspiration couldn't have done it without the Zebru mod thing because I don't understand coding. I, I think maybe if I really am dedicated to this, I should start learning coding so that I can look at the game code and try to figure it out. It's just a long process. Also, this shirt says, oh, happy day. And my sister got it when she got, um, she took, she got, I can't speak today. She got it because she went to a blood drive and gave blood and she didn't like it. Um, so she gave it to me and I made it into a crop top and I cut out the part of the bottom that says I donated blood because that's a lie. I did not donate blood because I'm a baby who's scared of needles. The only time I've ever given blood has been like when I was in the hospital and they have to take blood for like tests and stuff. But I was highly drugged for that. <laughs> so I don't remember it. But yeah, I'm terrified of needles and I also have um, really thick skin on my arms I don't know if you can tell but it's really hard for them to find veins like last time I had surgery I got like three pricks here three pricks here and then one in both hand and it wasn't until they got to the last hand that they were able to find a vein so I was like 12 pricks in before they found a vein and they ended up having to put the IV in my hand it was just it was awful it was one of the worst experiences so I did not give blood but I do have this blood donation t-shirt from my sister giving blood because she is a brave strong woman apparently 
and I am not um and I cut the part off that says I give blood because I would have felt like a liar walking around with a blood drive t-shirt anyway on the inside I wanted part of my backstory for this theater is that it's a it's an older theater like the building itself is pretty old um this company took over about like 30 years ago 40 years ago in the late 80s and started doing lgbtq plus shows obviously that's why the theater's so small because back then it would have been harder for them maybe to rent like a, a bigger space obviously now like lgbtq plus shows are on broadway and they're everywhere um but back then it might have been a little harder so they had the small theater and then they kept it running all these years because it's kind of like a, a staple in the community that's what I'm envisioning so I did it a little bit older um some things are a little bit more modernized but I wanted to kind of have that feeling of this building's been around a while and we've added like furniture and like decorations and stuff to try to make it maybe look a little bit more modern but like the wallpaper could use an update maybe hasn't been updated in a few years um the flooring is that very classic red velvet carpet that maybe could be updated but it's still like classic to the vibes of like older theaters and um Oh, and we're in the end of the video. Oh my goodness. Okay, anyway, enough about carpets. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you for sticking around, for coming to my videos. Thank you for everyone who voted in the poll this morning and chose this video for us to do today. This one has been a hot mess, but I know that those of you who like my personality enjoy it. So thank you so much. I'm so glad you're here. Um, shout out to the giveaway that I will be doing on Friday. And with that being said, I really am glad you guys are here. Please subscribe, like the video, watch another one. And I'll try to be posting for, the, for a long time. Bye.